Okay, today is the first day. Instead of giving her a full can, I'm going to give her half a can. Come on. Come on. I know it. You're done. But you're not done. Come on. Come on. Get on the stand. Your food. As you can tell, they're not starving or she'd be running to the feed pan. But, cutting her back half, she will be glad to get on the stand probably tomorrow. Let me get her on the stand. Okay, got her on the stand. I didn't bring my tripod. So, I'm going to get her milked. And I will show you how much we get today. Today is should be normal amount as she's going down, dropping, you know, 8 to 10 ounces. So, we'll get started. Wow. Okay. I did bumper. But I didn't, I mean, there's still, there's still milk in there, like, but I'm not going to get every drop. And by not getting every drop, that will signify to her body that that milk's not needed, so she'll make less. Also, the reduced feed will make less. And that's all she's ate on the stand, but I will put it in her feed dish when she's back in her stall. Okay, get down. Come on. Jump. Okay. Day one. Tonight, when I feed, I will feed her half a can. You a mess. Just a, just a tiny tad under eight ounces today. Day one. Half a can. Day two. She went on much better today because she's hungry. What she thinks she is. Yeah, I can tell her bag is much emptier than normal.
four and a half squirts. That's it. Probably not half a cup. We'll, we'll measure in the house. About five ounces today. Day two. Half again. Day three. Some may think this is not worth it, and it's not much milk, I agree, but it's worth it for the benefit of your animal going through this process. Something else, you want to feel of her udder. Feel for any heat, but not any. I could probably just stop milking now because there's very little in there, but I'll go a couple more days doing this process. Just to make sure that way I don't have to worry about mastitis. It's going to be very little today, I'm sure. Put your foot down. But it looks like it's equal to maybe more than yesterday. But that just goes to show that the breaking down of this process day by day, it gets less most of the time, but it's what's needed. Almost five ounces. I can. Day four. Okay. what little udder she has.
Okay. You can see that. Not very much. Today is Friday. Day four. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to skip milking her. If she bags up and is really full or warm, I'll milk her Sunday morning. But this may be the last milking. Because that's enough that her body will reabsorb any that she makes. Three ounces, day four. I just want to thank y'all for coming along with me on this little journey of drying this girl up. She's pretty much, I mean, there's nothing there. <laughs> Her udder is very small now. But this is the way my mama done milk cows when I was a kid very small child she would just stop you know reduce their feed and do the same exact method here some people do it different some people just quit milking and there's a higher chance of mastitis and you don't want to have to treat for mastitis it's not fun it's not fun for them it's not fun for you it's not good for them but I've only had one do it, and she done it right after she had babies. It wasn't anything that I did that caused it, but it's not fun to treat. And we'll get you back in your stall, get your hay. You've been a good girl through this, yes. Even though you're rotten. Yeah. <laughs>